Hello and welcome to another edition of The Buzz. I'm Jay Pryder along with Tom, he has bad breath today, Beamer. <laughs> I do. <laughs> hey, let's kick it off with our kudos. Um, I'll, I'll start with mine. Uh, Paige Orwick of the Norfolk High softball team has become the school record holder for home runs in a single season and for a career. So congratulations, Paige. I'm going to go with actually Tom Pites of Crofton. Last week we told you that he had run for 404 yards against Wisner Pilger. Truth be told, he ran for 464 yards against Wisner Pilger, which is a new state 11 man record. Uh, the reason that the yards weren't originally adding up to 464 is he didn't get credit for one of the carries that he fumbled at the end, so that added another 60 yards to his total. It's pretty easy to miss a 60 yard run. I see that, how that happens. And he followed that up with a 261 yard night in a, in a 35 to seven win over Lutheran High Northeast. So he's up to about a fourth of a mile. <laughs> hey, let's go to our weekly Eddie on the spot segment. And they really didn't inform me. I think Eddie's gonna be talking about the NENAC conference. Over 100 miles separates the top two Northeast Nebraska Activities Conference volleyball teams this year. Last Thursday night, those two teams met face-to-face -face for the first time since the conference championship game a year ago. It was fifth-ranked Laurel Concord Coleridge beating sixth-ranked Atkinson West Holt. 25-16, 17-25, 25-18, 25 Laurel Concord Coleridge's Jade Cunningham had 14 kills in the win, while teammate Amy Pritchard had 13 kills. The leading person with kills for Atkinson West Holt was Megan Wenner, who finished with 11. With the win, Laurel Concord Coleridge improved to 10 and three, while West Holt was nine and three at the time. Um, over the weekend, Laurel Concord Coleridge won the Wisner Pilger tournament to improve to 13 and three on the season. West Holt moved to 10 and three on the season with a home win over Plainview. Reporting for the buzz, I'm Eddie Evans. College football. What else? Nebraska at Wisconsin. Nebraska starts the Big Ten season. What are your thoughts on that game? I'm not completely sold on Wisconsin, but by no means am I sold on Nebraska either. I think that uh, it's going to be probably closer than some of the pundits say. Going to, going to Camp Randall for a primetime game, that's going to be tough for Nebraska, and I don't think this team is ready, especially defensively. I, I think they're a little soft. I think the secondary, even with Dennard back, is a weakness, and, and I see Wisconsin pulling away late, maybe winning by a touchdown or two. Yeah, I think uh, Nebraska certainly deserves the underdog role. Uh, I think we're 12-7 and seven under Polini on any road game, and, uh, but five of those have been one overtime loss at Texas Tech in 2008, one point loss to Virginia Tech, one point loss to Texas in a Big 12 title game, two point loss at College Station, three point loss to Oklahoma in the Big 12. So there's a pattern that we play well in these big beams, but I think we come up a little short again. I'll switch it to a three point loss. <laughs> High school football. What's our big games or what, what's looking interesting out there? Well, in keeping with the theme that ESPN has created over the last decade and naming every single Saturday or week, you have your almost a rivalry Saturday, and then you have Kentucky Fried Chicken Rivalry Week, and Showdown Saturday, and Fantasy Friday, and so on and so forth. I'm going to call this one Find Out Friday, because we're going to find out about a lot of teams exactly how good they are. Uh, starting in, in eight-man games, Humphrey and Humphrey St. Francis in the battle for Humphrey. Humphrey High is coming off a loss to Howells, but everybody loses to Howells, so we don't know how much that means. They, they should match up pretty well with St. Francis. Dodge is playing at Howells, which on paper looks like a loss, but we're going to find out exactly how good Dodge's 4-0 record is. St. Mary's and Bloomfield meet. St. Mary's is also unbeaten, but they haven't really played anybody yet either. Bloomfield has played some good teams. Uh, Creighton Howells, they also lost to Howells. In the 11-man ranks, Pierce travels to Boone Central. Boone Central is 3-1. They could easily be 4-0 but they haven't played a team at Pierce's level yet, so we're gonna find out exactly how good they are and how well they match up with the cream of the crop in C1. And then West Holt and Crofton meet in Class C2. Crofton, of course, is undefeated. West Holt has one loss to Hardington Cedar Catholic, a team that Crofton defeated, but West Holt also has sophomore running back Josh Quayle who can run all over the place. We're gonna find out if he can run against Crofton's front seven. That would be the other side of the ball, my bad. Laurel Concord Coleridge is at Ponca as well, and 
The Bears are three and one, but like many of the teams I've mentioned earlier, they really haven't played a difficult schedule. Ponca, despite being one and three, is a pretty tough team, and we're going to find out just how good the Bears are. All right. Well, depending on how those games come out, uh, Tom might need a new eraser next week before he does his rankings. So, uh, and, and I thank you for listening patiently as I continue to ramble through that. Not a problem. I get paid the big bucks for doing that. <laughs> Big bucks. <laughs> Let me remind you once again that the Daily News will be live streaming three football games this weekend, starting with the Lutheran High Northeast hosting Plainview on Thursday. Then uh, Norfolk Catholic hosts Madison in an afternoon tilt. Tilt? Wow. And then <laughs> Kearney and Norfolk High, the nightcap at Memorial Stadium that's our Field. That's our find out. Veterans Memorial Field. In our find out Friday doubleheader. That's how big this week is. Hey, thanks for joining Tom and I, and don't forget to join us next week on another edition of The Buzz.